Hi Gemini's, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So what happened is with the sign of Gemini, remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. Also, remember to not get caught up on the turn of the cards because we all have the masculine and feminine energy. Gemini, let's get into this one. I feel like it's going to be a good one. Messages for the sign of Gemini. What messages do we have for the sign of Gemini? Messages here for the sign of Gemini. Making a decision about something. Maybe you're being called to do something. Let something go. Hmm. Avoid regrets. All right, what messages do you have for the sign of Gemini? Some of you guys may be dealing with a Taurus. Messages here for the sign of Gemini, please. What messages do you have for the sign of Gemini? I will take all of these that fail. Let's see what it is, though. All right, Page of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, younger person that's coming towards you. An apology may be coming towards you. Ten of Wands here, burdens carrying the weight of others here. Going through a lot, maybe working a lot here. We have the Two of Pentacles, indecisive energy, juggling, needing to gain some balance here, having a lot going on. We have the Magician card here. Aries energy manifesting, having it, everything you need in order to manifest something here. Bottom of the deck, we have the world card closing out a cycle, ready to go towards something new here. Decisions, decisions, decisions here. Thinking about letting something go that you probably been holding on to. Maybe you feel like you've been you you're you're constantly being offered with things. Love. You get lot love offers that become a burden. Things we things are immature. Maybe some people move too fast in certain situations. Let's give more messages, though. All right, we have the Ace of Wands, brand new beginning. So we might just have a new person coming towards you to help you let go of some things, create some control and balance to manifest some new things, um, a new idea, creative thoughts here. Queen of Pentacles, something that may lead you to the Queen of Pentacles energy. Abundant, housewife type of energy. Um, nurturer, great parent. Good with finances. More messages here for the sign of Gemini. There you go. Three of Swords. You may be heartbroken. You may have broken someone's heart. Carrying a lot of burdens. Your heart is broken. Ready to... Um, Receive a peace of mind, ready to get away, get away from conflict, but someone's carrying a heavy load on their chest. More messages here for the sign of Gemini. Page of Wands. So I feel like this. It's like a situation where someone let passion take control, maybe. Thinking that it may have been uh, wish fulfillment, but it probably wasn't. It was just immature. It was something new. You guys could have, um, someone should have worked on a friendship at fir first here. Let me get one more card. I feel like someone had offered, uh, made an offer. But they had some other things going on that was juggling. And what they offered was definitely immature. They weren't quite, wasn't quite ready. It could have been all about sex. One more card here. And it is the temperance card. Balance between the masculine and the feminine. Energy waiting, being patient. Tempering your energy here. Yeah. Try to get in control over your emotions. Because someone's worried up at night, losing some sleep. Why is the page of cups here? Okay, we have two of wands. Ready to take a different approach on a situation. Knowing it's time to take a different approach. Knowing it's time to create a new path here. Someone could be cold. 
two of wands is here, by the way. That's falling. That has fell out. Someone knows there's a new way of th doing things or it's a different way of having to do things in order to bring something new and fulfilling into your, into your life here. Why is the two of ten of wands here? Excuse me, ten of wands. Why is the ten of wands here? One of two. Why is the ten of wands here, please? And thank you. No. Wow. Let's drop four cards. One or two. One of one or two. Why is the ten of wands here, please? The ace of cups in reverse. Missed opportunity and love. Someone's feeling like they may have missed out on an opportunity here. King of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. Every Leo side is Harriet's energy, determination, willpower. Someone who has that drive. Someone who's sexy, handsome. Knows how to go after what they want. Knows how to get it. This Ace of Cups in reverse is someone feeling like they're carrying the burdens of missing an opportunity on true love. That's what I'm really feeling. Maybe feeling like they was only thinking about sex. And that's what got them to this energy. Why is the two of pentacles here? Knight of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups. Oh, someone's going back and forth from their mouth on if they should go back or say something to a person from the past. Apologize. Someone, someone feels like their apology isn't even going to be worth it. Why is the Magician card here? Because it probably it's not it's probably it's probably not sincere. It's not. That's what I'm getting. All right. Why is the Magician card here? The Four of Wands. You you're wanting to create, manifest a family, a home. Right. Uh, stability, you guys. I'm getting hot, so I might get super shiny. But um, the nine of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, single, independent. You're single, you're independent, doing your own thing. Want true love in your life, want to build a happy home, family, get married here. Take note of there's some things you need to take note of. Why is the ace of wands here? The page of swords. Take note of what's crazy. Learning needed to learn. Um, needed to learn or figure some things out here. Could be spying. Two of swords and decisive energy. Feeling like you need to know more before you make a decision here. Why is the three of swords here? We have the four of swords. Beautiful. I like that though. I like that. Someone could be avoiding healing, but we have healing here. That's trying to happen with this three of swords energy here. Four of Swords, Square Fire, and the Three of Swords, which is, which is great. I feel like someone's ready to address the issues that they've been going through, why they're going through the situation that they're going through here. Someone's realizing, like, the lies and, and deception that they have received or, or that's coming towards them or, or, or has come towards them. Nine of Wands here. Someone wasn't quite ready to give up. I feel a masculine energy here with the Emperor card. This person not quite ready to give up on you. You're not ready to give up on this person. Someone truly wants marriage or wants to just build something stable. Learning how to heal themselves, right? Learning how to be healed, to become healed in order to receive this foundation, happy home. Why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands here? It didn't flip over on my second name. The Nine of Swords, worry up at night, anxiety, stress, borderline depression for some here. Someone, okay, someone so worried, very, very, very worried about maybe, maybe approaching you. You approaching this person because of lies. Someone has broken someone's heart, but someone's trying to make this offer maybe to help me in the situation. But I'm seeing, yeah, because someone had a, um, the heavy heart situation. Someone had been contemplating. Someone has been, it's, it's been um, playing over and over in someone's mind about what maybe what they've done. King of Cups here. Someone's ready to show some type of emotions. Why is the Temperance card here? The Tower. A sudden shift. A change. 
a sudden shift here that's pushing you to move on, I feel, to receive a peace of mind, for you to see your shifts coming in here after you take that different approach here. Scorpio energy with the tower, Sagittarius with the temperance. Being patient with yourself with this change so that you can manifest that home family union. Marriage. Why is this Howard card here? The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles don't feel like the Queen of Pentacles right now. She's here, but I feel like someone was the one. She's kind of coming out in reverse. She's like this. Someone feels like they've been pouring out, pouring out, pouring out, pouring out into a situation. And they end up feeling stabbed in the back. Backstabbed and betrayed. Maybe someone was expecting to be the Queen of Pentacles in energy in a situation here and was waiting on waiting on this offer, but maybe it just wasn't coming in in this time, being in this moment, because there's still some work that someone needs to do that needs to be done, okay? Yeah, someone could be breaking up for the time being. It could, have been, it could be a divorce for some. More about this Queen of Pentacles, please. Capricorn towards Virgo energy. I don't know if I said that already. Three of Cups, the Moon card, the Death card. Three of Pentacles. Oh, okay. It could have been a separation. It could have been a separation. And someone here is wanting to come together. Seeing the truth in the situation here. Ready to bring in some change and transformation in the relationship. Bringing in some type of balance. Let's see. Why is the moon card here? Clap out the moon, the higher fans. Teaching, learning, experience. Having to see through the illusion. Facing some fears. It's that marriage energy also. Tradition. Five of Wands. It could have been competition involved. The Empress. Someone's willing to fight for the Empress here. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? The Queen of Cups following your intuition. This is unconditional love here. Six of Pentacles. Someone's ready to express their love, their unconditional love. Following that intuition here. Have that reciprocity here. Why is the Hierophant here, please? Because someone was ready to take their love away. Baby, don't take your love away from me. I need you, girl. Uh, Seven of Pentacles here, waiting. Wondering, oh yeah, someone's wondering if this relationship, this union, this marriage is, is worth uh, putting the energy and working to. After feeling this energy, backstabbing and betrayed. Like a painful cycle here. So I need to go into the healing mantra real quick. I feel definitely guided to this. And then maybe another word for that. Can we gonna get out of here? Message here for the sign of Gemini. Stacy and Kim. Damn all the damn. I know you're tired of my game. Tired of my lies. Yeah, someone's tired. Yeah. Yeah. And the other person knows. Alright, message here for the sign of Gemini, please. What message do you have for the sign of Gemini? I am worthy of all the pleasure my heart desires. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Bottom of the deck, the more, more I embrace feeling good, the less often I feel bad. So, yes, we're going to embrace the good feelings. All right. Inviting ecstasy. I am worthy of all the pleasures my heart desires. Super bright card. Inviting ecstasy. But, anyways. When ecstasy is invited, you feel aligned and ready to receive all the miraculous and joyful gifts of experience the universe is ready to provide you. Ecstasy acts as a cosmic green light that grants your destiny permission to enter. 
In many instances, pain can be healed and released once a healthy relationship with the pleasure is established. This mantra is, is ideal for increasing self-worth, elevating levels of excitement, and allowing bigger dreams. Okay? So, I do feel like I should read another Starseed Oracle. Let's see what comes out for you guys. What message do you have for the sign of Gemini? Oop. Messages here for the sign of Gemini. All right, here we go. Message here for the sign of Gemini, please. Thank you. We the haters. Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal bottom of the deck the blue flame spontaneous awakening activation integration time so someone is awakening integrating we the haters hathers haters however birth is a portal that ushers in new life the hathers are here to remind you that you're a child of the cosmic mother and you're being called to be held by her deep, never-ending love and embrace. This is a tender, nourishing card reminding you to receive the deep, deep, deep love of the mother's embrace. The Hathers know that the journey on earth can be rocky and lonely at times, but you're being reminded to rest more deeply in the mother's arms. This is a card of extreme potency or femininity of creation or femininity, femininity, femininity of femininity of creation and of birth you're being called to mother yourself and others too to surrender your to, to surrender to your sacred femininity to create and surrender to your own creations to hold and to be held you're being called to remember your place in the web of life and to realize that the mother that the cosmic mother is watching you every step of the way you may be going through a transition right now, moving from one way of being to another. If so, you're being reminded that you're a cradle in a sacred container, that you're more held than you can possibly imagine, and you have access to more love than your heart can bear. If you're struggling in any way, you're more reassured, you're being reassured that things will work out. Open yourself to receiving an over, the overflowing love of the cosmic flooding toward you from every direction i don't know why i'm chopping that up let it stretch your heart star c activation place this card on the portal of your heart and whisper the following i allow the deep love of the cosmic mother to wash over me i am loved i am healed all right so i'm gonna leave it right here gemini that was your reading you guys let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated leave your like shares all of that good stuff i love you i love you i love you and i'll see you guys next time Bye.